Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, restore your backup data from cloud into a MongoDB sharded cluster using QDB schema manager. So let's start. Here you can see that we have uh, already applied the MongoDB database and the vault server. Uh, if you don't know what the vault server is, uh, this is a CRD of KubeVault. KubeVault is actually a uh, credential management tool. Uh, this is an absolute product. If you want to know more about it, you can uh, go to the link given in the description. So here is the database spec. The database name is MongoDB. The allowed schemes field uh, allow. It has uh, some allowed disallowed fields. Here you can see that we are using this level. So if your namespace has this levels, that namespace will be allowed to actually use this database server. We are using 4.4.6 MongoDB version, and this is a sharded cluster, as you know. This has three fields. Uh, config server, mongoose, and shard. The config server, inside the config server, there are two replicas. This is the pod template of config server, and this is the storage spec you can see here. Inside mongoose, there are two replicas of mongoose, and this is the pod template of mongoose. And shard, there are two shard, each has two replicas, and this is the pod template of each shard, and this is the storage spec. And the termination policy is set to report so that uh, all the PVCs created will be uh, gone after deleting this database server. And here is the Vault YML. The name is Vault inside uh, namespace demo. We are using 1.9.2 version. There are three replicas of Vault server. And here you can see that all the namespaces, all, uh, all the MongoDB secret engines from all the spaces are allowed. We are using Kubernetes secret as the ancillary, Raft as the backend, Kubernetes as the auth methods, Prometheus as the monitoring tool, and uh, we have also set the without termination policy here. So uh, let's uh, now show the current database status. Here you can see that there are only uh, 3db. So after uh, restoring uh, got get successfully, if, if the restore gets successful, we should see another database here. Let's see what we are going to apply now. This is the MongoDB database schema manager spec. The name is schema. The level is uh, set to this one. Okay. The database ref is uh, reference to the database which is mongodb here you can see mongodb in db space and this is the MongoDB db space and the vault rep is vault in demo space that you have already uh, seen here we are uh, going to uh, create a mydb database so vault actually will create a secret for this mydb database and we can exit into uh, MongoDB server using that secret to uh, show in the demonstration. This is the access policy. It is a list of service account names. This is uh, the default detail time. So uh, the secret that has been created using a uh, vault that will be expired after 40 minutes. The deletion policy is set to delete and the snapshot in the under the snapshot spec we are referring a repository. This is the repository YML. This is a menu repo repository. You can see menu repo. And the endpoint is uh, menu. So we are using a menu uh, backend here to actually uh, reach to from there. This is the menu uh, packet backup Mongo. And we are going to uh, restore from this chart this has been already backed up so we are uh, going to apply these files and this is the menu secret that should uh, contains the credentials for your cloud repository so let's apply one by one apply the secret first 
okay the secret has been applied apply now the repository has been applied and now we are going to apply the schema so after applying the schema we should see the mydb database here to be restored here you can see that the status is in progress okay now this is kind so this has been succeeded so if we use the show db command again we should see the mydb here and now this has been successfully restored Oh, I I want to show another things is that if we get the secret, bulk created secret for from the status of secret team of our MongoDB database pack, you can get the secret here. If we view the secret, this is kubectl view secret short term previous. View the secret. This is the credential uh, created by Vault server to use this DB. So let's uh, exit into the database and using this credential this is the credential password is this one and authentication database is my database we are inside mongoose so now if we show the dbs uh, we should see my db and here you can see that uh, we are only seeing my db not others admin config or other things because this secret has been created by port server to, to specifically use my db not the others so the restore has been successfully you can confirm that here use my db show the collection sorry so the collections here use my db so the collections here db dot data is dot find and this is the restore data so everything goes well and that's from me now.